Good morning. I woke up this morning thinking about anthropological adventures. It takes me back to the time when I was in Colombia, and oh, let me get that picture. I have this picture where, as we're walking back from, or walking, we're leaving as a group, we're leaving the house we were staying at. We go by a riverbed and we're crossing this river. We go, we go by the way of a riverbed and we're crossing this river. And then as we're getting ready to cross over the final little stream, it's a dry stream bed in the river. I look down and I look back at the land. I'm like, man, there it is, there it goes. And as I'm looking down, I see this, looks like fish bones. Um, or it looks like a tree and, uh, like as a, it's like a big boulder, probably the size of, it comes up to like my knee or something, a little bit under my knee, my shin. And I'm like, man, that tree looks like it's pointing the way to the house we just came from. Is that like a map? But then I, on closer inspection, I'm looking at it it's like, oh, it's actually bones, fish bones in a big like boulder and that's when I realized it's a fossil. I'm like, and I'm like, oh wow, I've discovered a real fossil with the bones exposed. So I was like, man, that would be. Ooh. Taking me back. That would be great to do that a little bit more or to just or to just seek out um a native or some type of native um village population in the world and just study them see how they live see what they're like um make friends with them um adopt some of their cultures uh have them adopt some of my culture um Mingle with them and oh, um, just see what life is like. A little part of the world would be great to make a a study, and then like whatever type of artifacts they have would probably go great in a museum. Probably do some preservation, conservation of their lands. Make sure that their lands stay their lands. Um. I don't know. I don't know why I was feeling like that, but I'm thinking like that would just be something really interesting to do at time in time or something similar to where they um, go and like look for mining opportunities and the locals know all the mining spots. Like I would definitely be interested in that. You know, no, I'm just thinking back now to uh, to this, I think this one article that I was reading, and it was talking about mansions, mansions, and it was talking about how like, even in ancient Egypt, they had mansions, and I'm like, man, they had mansions and people, they had a whole communities of mansions, but these people weren't, they didn't have what we have, they didn't have technology, they didn't have um, all the new industries that we have and new ways of making money. I'm like, so how, so I'm asking myself, how are they able to accumulate a mansion or the wealth that naturally coincides with the mansion if they didn't have all these new industries? If they just had carpet making or um, <laughs> um, something like that where it was just, or table making. What was it that separated them then from us now, from me now? Because when you like, I'm assuming that when they had a mansion, they definitely had people who lived there, people who probably came in and out to see the owner, to talk to them about relations, business, um, 
supplies, supply chains, logistics, uh, negotiations, strategies, tactics, new markets, uh, opportunities. Uh, threats, um, strengths, weaknesses. And there probably was something going on with the owner of the mansion, of the property, that allowed for these type of conversations and activities to take place. Because how else would they have done that? Like, there must have been something they were talking about, some type of conversation they were having, some type of noise, resonance, frequency that was coming out of the person's mouth, out of their vocalizations or out of maybe some scrolls they had written that they would habitually read as a focus for their business and how they felt that it should be drawn towards them um i don't know these are just postulations but it's just interesting to note that people still were you know, doing their thing, making big business moves, inviting people over for dinner, um, seeing their character. Uh, I don't know, like going on travel excursions to new legs, new markets. Oh, uh, just overall living a quite productive and um, fruitful, fruitfully abundant life. So, um, pretty, so, I mean, it seems like it's to be desired where there's a lot of productive busyness, but not busyness. More of Oh, my friend stopped by, so we did some business. We talked. It's my business friend. It's my friend, friend. And we can all occupy the space. Maybe that's why they have so many different rooms. So people can just have space to have different types of conversations. That probably makes the most sense where they're just talking about friendship in one room and they're talking about travel in the other room uh, etc so oh uh, that would be interesting to see play out <gasps> it's definitely happened well i can't say it's definitely happened but people do have conversations in rooms that's <laughs> that's pretty true before they had cell phones, you had to go to someone's house and talk to them. Um, yeah. So, that's, um, that's pretty much it. Today will be one of the best days, a great day. One of those days that comes along suddenly, but not suddenly. Every once in a while, you like to expect it. However, it gets better every time this day comes around because you build on what you've learned before and make new inroads into where you're going in life. Something to be proud of, to be appreciative of, and to show real gratitude for. 
It's a gift to give it with grace and ease. Enjoy it.